Well, hi everybody and welcome to the Mental Toughness and Body Show. My name's Rob Evans and I'm your weight loss coach, health strategist and internationally published author, helping take your life, your business, your mindset, your body from where it is that you are right now to being unstoppable. And today's episode, I want to have a slight continuation from what we discussed yesterday in terms of um, getting the results that you want, getting a better self-image of your, uh, yourself, creating a better level of health and wellness and body for yourself. And today I'm talking about being your own hero. Weight loss is like a, a trillion dollar industry around the globe and everybody's looking for that quick fix. They're looking for the, the fat loss pill, uh, the, the next wave diet that's coming past, the uh, unique piece of equipment, freezing the fat off, a device, a, uh, you know, a supplement, um, an injection, uh, a liposuction, uh, you know, whatever it is, there are so many different things out there. People are trying to come up with the best, most reliable, safest fat loss gimmick because they'll make billions out of it. And I don't think they're coming up with it for the, uh, the health of people. They're coming up with it for the ka factor, you know, making lots and lots of money from it. But here's the thing. This is why I'm saying be your own hero. Even if I could give you a pill where you could tell me exactly what it is that you wanted, you could describe it in a lot of detail, provide me with photos, and I could, let's just say that I could program it into that pill, and you could take that pill, and within minutes, you were looking exactly like you wanted to. If that was possible, I would not do it. And why is that? Because it's who you become during the transformation, along that journey of transformation, that will enable you to live with those results forever. And this is why so many people do a diet, have surgery or, or do various things that are, are radical and they get back to perhaps where they were before or even worse. I'm hearing many cases of people that have a gastric sleeve. Now, there's a difference here for those of you that, uh, some of you will be aware, some of you may not. Uh, there's a gastric band where they essentially, if you could just imagine a balloon, with which is your stomach, and they put a rubber band around it and tighten it so you can fit less in. Okay, A gastric sleeve is where they take away like two-thirds of the balloon. So they physically shrink your stomach. Now what happens is over time, if you keep abusing your body, what happens to that stomach that's left? It stretches. Okay, and stretches and stretches and stretches. Now, maybe it won't go back to where it was originally, but you, you keep putting more food in there and it'll stretch and stretch and stretch. Now, the theory is that if you make, if you like, the cup, the balloon, smaller, there's only so much food that will fit in there before you basically regurgitate. So it forces you to not eat. You'll only eat a little bit and you say, oh, gosh, I'm feeling full. I better stop eating now. And that's the, the logic behind it. Uh, but like I say, uh, there are people that are, are just pushing the boundaries, not changing any habits. They might be dropping huge numbers on the scales, but they're not learning any new sustainable habits. And often I'm finding that uh, I'm seeing people that have had, say, the gastric band. And so imagine that you've got, I don't know, and let's say that you right now I'm holding my index finger to my thumb. And let's just say that that's the, the size of the hole where the food is going down. And now say cut it in half and make it really small. So what happens is um, that the food has difficulty getting down the hole. So people have to eat slower. They have to chew it up and, um, and swallow it in smaller pieces so that it can go and physically fit through the hole. I know that sounds a bit gross, but that's what happens. Now, a lot of people that live like that have discovered a loophole, and oh, no pun intended there, uh, but 
If they eat junk food or processed food, it fits through the hole easier. And if they drink things like um, soda, soft drink, you know, that kind of stuff, it helps flush it through faster than water. Um, and uh, people are filling up on this stuff and they're living off multivitamins because they're not getting all the nutrients they need from uh, nutritious food. Uh, and that's the way that they live. And yes, they might be slimmer, but they're not healthy because they're still living off crappy food because they haven't learnt new habits to go along with the change. So what is perhaps going to take longer for those people that have a lot of weight to lose, but is going to be much better for them is if they learn the right techniques, they learn the lifestyle, they create new habits so that they can do it forever. Because let's face it, they're in the position that they're in, or you might be in the position that you're in right now, either because you, you maybe don't have the skills, you don't have all the knowledge about nutrition, you don't know the, the right way to be exercising. I don't mean it's in, I mean, technique could be part of it, but it's, it's about the combination of what's that balance of resistance, strength training versus cardio training. I think most people overdo the cardio training and either do none or underdo uh, the strength training or will train every day doing something and under eat. That's a big problem for people under eating the right types of foods. And so what I like to do is work with people so that they optimize their health, get the results that they want, and also follow a plan that's gonna be sustainable for them forever. And it doesn't mean they'll have the same plan forever. I haven't followed the same plan forever. I've adjusted it over time based on what my goals are at the, you know, a particular point in time. The point is about when you have a coach, you keep working with the person to get the results that you want and then you move to that next level. Or maybe it's a maintenance phase, maybe it's a, you know, an extra, uh, you know, a performance thing or something like that. But the key is to make sure that we teach people how to do it so that they can harness the energy of the accountability, the empowerment of the knowledge, the skills in uh, transforming their eating and transforming their life through exercise. Because it feels so much better than surgery and having to recover from surgery. If you can learn to do it yourself, it's such a better feeling and you'll be able to maintain it because you've, you, you're doing it yourself. Someone asked me today, they said, oh, once you get to uh, your goal in another, I've got 85 days left, um, uh, will you be able to maintain it? And I said, well, based on how I'm, I'm feeling right now, yeah, absolutely. I said, that hasn't been a huge change from uh, what I was doing before. Uh, it's just I'm more stringent with timing of consuming the food, but there hasn't been a huge shift for me. Uh, so maintaining it would be quite simple for me. And this is the key, to make sure that we come up with a workable plan that is sustainable for people so that they can do it, enjoy it, and it just becomes part of the lifestyle. Most people have surgery to their bodies, but they don't have surgery to their lifestyle because they don't really want to change those things. I was standing in the supermarket today and I was, I was picking up some, some salads, some pre-made salads and some, uh, some rice and there was something else which has just escaped me, oh, some cat food. And the lady in front of me, um, she was a very big lady. Like her hips were wider than the trolley. Um, she had a, a son that was playing up and he was probably I don't know, he looked maybe nine, eight, something like that. And he was very, very overweight for a child like that. And uh, I was just having a look at all the things that they had in their trolley. Well, actually they were on the counter when I was, I was looking at them. And I didn't see one piece of fruit or fresh produce or anything like that. But what I did see was lots of color, lots of colorful packaging, Lots of biscuits, uh, lots of cookies, uh, depending on where you come from in the world. Uh, there was, uh, you know, fizzy drinks. There was ice cream. 
Uh, I think there was candy slash lollies in there as well. Uh, like processed, uh, you know, meals that come in cardboard boxes, that kind of stuff, you know, pizza, that kind of stuff. And I'm like, man, at what point do you, do you take a look at yourself? And I thought, you must be so tired. You must be really drained of energy because she would have been, oh, I would say at least 140, 100, no, I know she's bigger than that, maybe 150 maybe kilos. So I'm talking over 300 pounds. Uh, she was, I'm pretty good with the numbers on looking at people and she was reasonably tall. And I thought that is an incredible strain on your heart. You can't tell me that you can be running around and doing a bunch of stuff and it not be causing you uh, you know, a lot of exhaustion, strain on your, on your heart. Never mind the impact on your knees and everything. I mean, she wasn't that old. And I thought, she does not have the, the knowledge. She does not have the, uh, about food. She does not have the inclination to, uh, to want to change. Uh, but there are so many people out there that are in that situation that so if we've got two-thirds of the people in the uh, in Australia that are overweight, it's uh, like 70% of uh, the US is considered overweight or obese. Uh, we're in dire straits. Uh, now, you might just want to lose a few kilos, but if, if you learn how to do this properly, you'll feel so much better. Like, I haven't been sick for years uh, based on how I, I live my life. I have lots of energy. I still work long days. I feel fantastic. And that's because I've conditioned myself to focus on what I do every single day. And that's why I teach people to do it because I know what it feels like. And when you start to see your body change and you get those results like I was talking about yesterday, that just is a huge boost to your self-confidence. It's a huge boost to your self-image. And not to mention the, uh, the extra energy that you have to focus or do whatever it is that you want to do with that energy. I mean, it's, uh, it's why I get so excited about it because it's, to be frank, it's really easy to change. It really is. And there's just a couple of simple tips which I've, I've previously talked about in some of my earlier um, episodes of the Mental Toughness and Body Show. It's really simple to hone in on those things which are going to make you focus and be able to do this forever. The trick, it's like this, okay? Certain people like certain foods. Like some people like, say, Chinese flavored foods. Some people like Mexican. Some people like Spanish. Some people like French. Some people like Australian. Some people like traditional, I don't know, a US barbecue or something like that. Uh, You know, everybody is different, but what we have in the world is basically the same common types of ingredients. It's just that each of us mix them up in different ways with different combinations and different herbs and spices to give you those different flavors. Because you could take a piece of chicken and you could just have a chicken breast with some vegetables That'd probably be my choice. Or you could uh, have a spicy, uh, say, Indian dish with chicken in it. You could have a, um, or a KFC. Or you could have a chicken pizza. Or you could, you've got the idea, you know, you could have chicken sushi. There's so many different options that you can, you can do with it. And depending on where you are, you're going to make that, that particular choice because of the flavors that you're used to or the way that you're used to eating. My job is just to find out what are the flavors that you do like? What are the foods that you normally eat? What do you really enjoy? Let's see how we can make some small changes so that we can get a big difference for you. And the, so the tricky part is to come up with that combination of, of the foods that you enjoy and a plan that you can stick to. That's the tricky part. And uh, I've been doing it for so long now, uh, I, I know the, uh, the most popular recipes that I use with people and I love them. Uh, uh, I know the things that are, are sometimes tricky for people. Um, so people that are, are gluten intolerant are actually pretty easy, but it's your, veg- your vegan people are the more difficult just because 
uh, there is, you're just re uh, reducing the number of uh, options that people have available to them. And then you get your vegetarian, which are not quite as, as harsh, but it all comes down to finding the ingredients that people like, uh, the ones that they're not intolerant to, oh, pardon me, I just bit my tongue, uh, that they're not intolerant to and are going to really go forth and love the, uh, the meal plan that they're doing and then just coming up with the plan for the exercise and everything that's workable. Uh, it's, it's really a straightforward process for me now. Um, it just requires consultation uh, to get it right and then making sure that you've got the right mindset to keep on doing it. You say, oh, well, that all, all sounds like too much hard work. It doesn't have to be hard work. It's like making little, little changes for people. And even, so I talk to people in this context. Imagine you're standing at the bottom of the, well, let's say it's the bottom of the Empire State Building. Everyone can relate to that. We want to get you to the top. And getting to the top is, you know, getting all the, the right meals and the right nutrients and the right balance of exercise, the right amount of water, the right amount of sleep, all that kind of stuff. That's right at the top on the sky deck, if you like, of the Empire State Building. But we don't get there in one step. We have to take, if we've taken the stairs, we have to take one step at a time. And so if you don't, on day one, don't get to do all those things that we know we want to get you to, then that's okay. It doesn't matter. You're still one step ahead of where you were the day before. And then you just keep, keep taking one step after the other, after the other, after the other. And does it matter if it takes years for you to get to that place where you say, man, I feel fantastic? No, it doesn't. Because each day is going to go by whether you do something or whether you don't do something. So it's much more fun if we do something so that you can start to accumulate those benefits. And I guess I'm a, a great example of this in terms of the self-image and what it is that you're capable of. I've been training myself for 32 years. It's only this year that I've decided that I'm going to commit 100% to getting that six pack look. So that's taken me 32 years. Now, if that was my goal from the very beginning, then maybe it would be different, but it wasn't. But it is now, and that's okay. And if you don't want that look, that's fine too. Um, a lady I spoke to uh, today, she, was, uh, we, uh, she works in the industry as well, and she was saying, look, she, she's got abs, but she doesn't want that six pack because she, think that's, that she thinks that that's not a good look for her. And that's fine because it's a personal preference. Like I said yesterday, it's that self-image that you come up with of yourself. It doesn't have to be a sexy six pack. Some people like big butts, for instance. Um, if that's what you want, then fantastic. My goal for you is to still optimize your health. So let's get in some better foods if we can, some better supplementation so that you are not only looking the look that you want, but you're feeling fantastic as well. So I think in these cases, you have to step up for yourself. You've got to be your own hero and stop looking for a quick fix and look for the solution that is going to empower you forever, be sustainable forever, optimize your health and give you the other results that you want as well. So step up for you because you're worth it and because you know what it is that you want, that makes it really powerful. Get the information, get the knowledge, get the coaching and you will get the outcome that you want and that makes it exciting. So if you want me to be your coach, Go to the mental toughness and body show.com, scroll to the bottom, opt in for a free consultation, and that's how we'll get started. Wherever you are in the world, you have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow.